Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's G from Happiness and Crafting. So it's Sunday afternoon and I still have my little um, ephemera set um, on my desk. So I thought I'd make a little, um, it's like a little concertina tag book really. So it just opens up, very, very simple. It's made from the three tags from the embellishment kit. Um, and I've just popped a little bit of paper on there. I've backed it with some book paper and I've joined it together with a little bit of fabric and I thought it was really cute, really simple to make. Um, I've made a little sort of belly band there with some of the daisies, one of my butterflies and one of the words and phrases from the kit as well, which says as fresh as a daisy um, and that just slips on there like that and I just think that looks really cute, a really nice little thing to make, um, quick and easy. So I thought I'd just show you how to do it. I'm going to change it just a little bit because I do like to make pockets out of the um, sort of like tracing paper or vellum so I'm going to do that on the back instead of sticking the plain piece of paper I'm going to pop some little tags in the back now I do have three here so I'm going to pop those to the side these are the little bits that I thought I'd put on the front and I got one of my little oopsie daisies on there and a little butterfly um, this is um, one of the belly bands in there um, so I'm going to use that but first of all what I have done here to save some time I've just backed it with some um, book paper so just stick it on the back like that really really simple um, I'm going to pop them together let me just get a little bit of glue I'm just going to use my fabric tack here bits of scrap fabric and all as I'm going to do now what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick these on here like this. Let's have a little bit. Of, just put them out flat like that. Just the three big tags. A little bit of glue down one side. And I'm going to just stick that on. Really simple. Now you can use a little bit of paper if you like, if you don't have any fabric. Just a little, stick a little bit of paper down. I'm going to quickly turn them over. Oops. A little bit of glue on this side. I'm just going to stick that. Just leave a little gap like that in the middle. I am going to sew it around mine, but again, you don't have to. Okay, so there we go. Oops, I'm just going to move that. Let's stick it down a little bit better. Like that. Perfect. I'm going to sew that in a minute. A little bit of glue on here, on this side, and I'm going to stick one down there, like that. Turn it over, a little bit of glue down here, whoops, not too much, no, just a little bit too much, but that's okay. And then we'll stick that on. So just looks like that. Nice and scruffy. I've got another two to go over the top of here like that in a minute. But what I want to do, I want to just pop some little vellum pockets on here, which I've got a piece of, it's vellum or tracing paper. It's very, very similar. It's the sort of same thing. And I've just got my little um, tags and I thought I'd just pop them in there like that. Quite simple because on this one, all as I've done, I didn't make the pockets, I just stuck a piece of tea or coffee stain paper on there to write on. But I thought to have the um, little pockets would be quite nice, wouldn't it? So let me take my ruler. I'm going to just take a piece of the uh, tracing paper or vellum, put it on there. And I'm just going to rip it off here. Just like that. And then I'm just going to stick that on. So a little bit of glue. Again, I will be sewing around this, so I just need a tiny, tiny bit. This is so quick to do. So that sticks on there like that. Now I haven't stuck the other bit of fabric on there because we need to stick the pockets on first. And then I'm going to take another piece. Look, there's not even any cutting, you just rip it off with your ruler. Like that. I've got another piece because that's not quite big enough. 
little bit of the glue down there like that just to hold that on whoops ooh look there we go stick that on like that and then I've got another piece now I didn't measure this did I let me get my ruler here with the inches and centimeters on so this is about two inches or about five centimeters I should have a little chart up really for the conversion for for it really shouldn't I inches to centimeters oh I should really remember there we go let's stick this piece on just a little bit down the sides put that on there like that perfect that one was a little bit too high up I think there we are so then we've got the little pockets I won't pop it in too much because it will come off so I think that looks nice now the little extra pieces here let's take on a little bit I'm just going to stick over the top like that so this will just go a little bit of glue either side and pop that on like that and again a little bit either side here just a tiny bit because we're going to sew it and I don't want to get too much glue on there Perfect. So doesn't that look nice? And then it just folds up like that. Now I would like to sew it before I fold it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the sewing machine and I'm going to go around all the way around the outside sewing it and down each side like that. Okay, so I will be back two seconds. So there we go. That's lovely. So I've just sewn around the outside. Now let me just get my little pair of scissors and chop all these little bits off all the little bits I think that's on this side little bits of cotton off so that's lovely and then what that does it just folds up like that which is great and then we've got our little pockets in here and I'm just going to pop the um, little tags in there like that there we go doesn't that look nice now you could probably pop something on there as well I'm going to just fold that up like that and now we're going to make the belly band now this is quite simple so we'll just pop that on there we will bend this round just a little bit not too tight like that just so it will move up and down Okay, take that off just bend it like that I'm just going to cut just this piece here like that so we've got a little spare bit there now let's get some ink what am I doing? just ink around the edge just to get rid of that little white line from cutting like that so we go round the edge little bit of glue whichever way it doesn't really matter which way it bends so let's just make sure it fits again this way so we don't want to do it too tight just so it goes up and down we need that little bit of movement <coughs> excuse me a little bit of glue there and a bit of glue here make sure I'm gluing the right side that just sticks down like that okay perfect so let's just put that on the right way round so then let's hope that we go that just slips on there like that 
I think that looks really nice. So now we just need to decorate it. Now I'm going to decorate the bit where we fold it over so um, you don't have the join on the back so you don't see it. So I have little flowers, of course our little daisies. So we can just pop the little daisy on there. Then I've got the oopsie daisy on there and we've got another one. So which one? Shall we have a... could probably pop a little collage of them on there, couldn't we? Okay, a little bit of fabric. So I've got some bits of fabric here. Let's take some of this. And then again, we'll take a little bit of this. I'm using the same stuff as I used for the paper clips. So it all um, works together. Because I want to make sort of a little a little pocket pack thingy majiggity that we can use, pop everything inside. Maybe a little journal as well I'll get to do. So we've got a nice little collection. So let's stick that there. Bit of glue here. Let's pop this little bit there. Okay. Stick that on there. Or should we stick this one on first? I think. Just a little bit there. And you can go there. We don't want it to go the glue to go above it. So let's just stick that there. Like that. And then she'll pop you on here. I've got the glue on there already. Never mind. Let's have this little bit in between. Let's stick that on there. And then we shall have the top bit glued, I think, isn't it? down away from the little buzzy bee there we go I'll we'll pop you on there and then we will have oopsie daisy there and the butterfly now I think I need to just ink this a little bit around the edge Should we have the butterfly? It's just a little bit of ink around here. Just bend the wings a little bit. Just bend it around the end of your scissors or whatever you have that's a little bit hard. And then we can just pop the little butterfly on there. Bit of glue. And you can go on there like that. So we have something to poke it down with. Let's just pop you on there like this. And hold that down. How lovely is that? And these, these are little bands you can make for all sorts of things, can't you? So all these lovely little bits that are hanging off there. Right, let's try and get this on here like that pop you on and how lovely is that shall we pop a little bit of stickle so it matches um, the paper clips that we did so these are lovely and then I did actually make the little envelope from the pack I covered the inside with some um, book paper so that matches as well the Friday freebie but in a smaller version where's my stickles here we are little bit of stickles. Let's have it on the butterfly. Oops, a little bit too much. But then again, you can never have too much, can you? I think that looks a little bit over those little daisies like that. How gorgeous is that? I just love this daisy paper. I'll pop a link to it anyway under the video so you can have a look. Um, but there we go. I now have two lovely ones so this one here and this one here and what the difference is is this one I've just put the plain paper on the back like that and on this one we have 
the little pockets with the little tags in, which I just love. I think they are gorgeous. So there we go, guys. That's a lovely, a quick little um, project for you. Beautiful little gift as a, if you like to send happy mail, it's absolutely perfect, isn't it? Um, and a lovely little thing to pop into somebody's Easter basket or something like that. So there we go, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, I hope you're having a lovely weekend. Please stay safe, take care, and I will see you soon. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.